Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today we are talking about Emily in Paris, Season 1, Episode 8, Family Affair. You guys, this was the funniest episode. <laughs> this one was like so cringy and funny and... We saw a different side of Emily and it just, it really cracked me up. So let's get into it. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. So we start out at Emily's apartment in this beautiful scenery here. Um, so remember that Emily and Gabriel have just smooched again, and she's like, we need to take time apart. So she's going out for the day. She's leaving her apartment, and she sees Gabriel and Camille. <laughs> she runs into them a lot. <laughs> So she sees them leaving their apartment. She's trying to be quiet and just stay out of the way. And she gets this text as she's leaving from Camille saying, Can we get lunch today? I need to talk to you about something. So Emily is so scared. She's nervous she's going to get caught. She meets up with Mindy for lunch. And Mindy's just like, It's okay. Don't worry about it. And Emily's saying, I think I should just move. I feel so guilty. Emily asks Mindy if they can hang together this weekend so that way she won't be in town uh, to, to meet with the Camille. And Emily says, oh, her friends are coming in. They're going bridal gown shopping and they're having this whole like bachelor weekend, bachelorette weekend. And Emily's like, oh, fine. So she goes to meet Camille and we're not sure what's going to happen if Camille's going to confront her about what's going on with Gabriel. Nope. She is so sweet, and she asks Emily about her. So her family's got the champagne business. She's got, they've got the chateau and champagne, and she's wondering if Emily's firm will take them on as a client. Emily is so relieved it's not about Gabriel. She just is like, yeah, sure, we'll do it, no problem. So, of course, she has to go back to her office and talk to Sylvie about taking them on, um... And Sylvie, she reacts as you expect. She's like, we don't know these people. I've never heard of these people. So she's like, no, no, I can handle it. Um, I'll just go out to the house for a weekend, see what it's all about. And, and I think we can do it. We can take him on as a client. So that night, Emily goes out with Mindy clubbing and her friends. And she meets the bride-to-be. And... They're just having a good time, so much fun, drinking money being spent, and the friend orders an extra bottle of champagne so she can spray it. Apparently that's a big deal. <laughs> so that'll come into play later, of course. Meanwhile, at the awkward <laughs> stuff going on, Emily gets there, gets ready to go, and it turns out Gabriel is coming. So she's surprised because she thought it was just going to be her and Camille. So they get in this teeny tiny car, and what happens? There's not even a seat for her. She has to ride on Gabriel's lap. I'm sorry, what universe would this work? Because most people are not her size. How would anybody fit like this? This is crazy. They arrive at this beautiful chateau. Gabriel and Camille are still fighting. They've been fighting about his restaurant. She wants to give him the money to buy it, but he doesn't want to take it from her family. He just He's afraid it's just too much. So they arrive inside, and it's just gorgeous. Emily gets to meet Camille's mom, the one that's running the champagne part of things, and she's the one she'll pitch to when it's time. So Emily asks for a tour, and they're like, no, this is France. We don't do that. So the mom's kind of taken aback by that. The mom has encouraged her to go look around for herself. They do vineyard tours that she can go on, um, but she mostly just go explore. And Gabriel is supposed to go to the market. So Emily goes exploring. And what does she happen upon? Gerard. <laughs> he is Camille's dad. And he is a character. He's out there naked sunbathing. <laughs> she's embarrassed. She's trying to hide. And he's like, no, it's okay. Do you want some champagne? And she's like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> so 
He comes in in this teeny tiny robe. Oh, it's so awkward. Gabriel says that he'll be going to the market and Gerard's encouraging them to take bikes. It's a beautiful day. Gabriel asks her to come with him and she's like, I can't. I need to I need to go tour the, the winery or the where they're making the champagne. Um, and he's just disappointed. But she just, she feels it's awkward. She doesn't want to do this to Camille. So she needs to get away because there's they have feelings for each other. So she rides her bike to go to this winery tour. And oh, look at the grounds. It's just so beautiful. I love it. She happens upon this couple that's having a picnic and kissing. And I think she feels it too. She's just lonely. And <laughs> she goes to this chateau tour. And it's headed up by this very cute guy here who is talking about how they make the champagne and how they have to do this thing where they turn the bottle so that way it doesn't, it, so it settles the right way or something. So they turn it into this race where Emily ends up beating him at being faster to turn the bottles. They celebrate with drinks and she is getting hammered. She starts talking to him and it turns out, she's like, oh yeah, I'm friends with the people that own this place. He's like, yeah, I'm their son. I, that's Camille's brother. So he's... It's dinner time. He's plowing her with drinks, and they're kind of flirty, and um, it's just oh, so much. We'll talk about. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. So they're having dinner, and she try. Um, Emily tries Gabriel's cocovan, and the dad is making it so awkward because he keeps saying, "Do you love his his cock?" <laughs> He's trying to say that Kokovan, however you say it, Kokovan. Um, and it's just, oh, Emily's getting drunker. It's so awkward. <laughs> and Camille and her mom start going back and forth. Camille's mom is not happy because uh, Gabriel's not taking the money. Emily's trying to talk business with her, and she's like, we don't discuss business at the dinner table. It's like one series of awkward events after another. It's just such an uncomfortable weekend. Emily and Camille are trying to have fun, but Emily's just getting wasted. So she, later that night, she gets on. She's asking Mindy how it's going. We see Mindy at the this uh, drag bar with her friends and having a good time. And then they tell her, yep, you're going to get up and sing. And Mindy's kind of freaking out, like, no, 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 I'm not doing it. But the announcer calls her up, makes her come up, and... Once again, so she's nervous, she's not sure, but once she gets into it, my God, her singing voice is so beautiful. It's incredible. I love to listen to her sing, especially when she's saying that La Vian Rose. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Uh, so she's singing Chandelier here, and Emily's able to watch the stream of it, and uh, it's just beautiful. She does such a good job. I love that they made that part of the storyline. The friends, once again, spray her with champagne. And I know they're trying to make that a thing for the storyline, but I just find that so weird. Is that a thing? I guess I don't go out enough to know. <laughs> I just think that's a little crazy. Won't you fall down? Won't you slip in your heels on that? That's what I would think. Anyway, Emily is watching it, enjoying and getting ideas for what to pitch to the mom about the champagne. Meanwhile, brother comes out with some more champagne and is... Very cute and very flirty with Emily. So they're drinking. She's Emily's already wasted. And she's asking about champagne flutes. And he's explained this cup is made to represent Marie Antoinette's breast. So Emily puts the cup on hers. And one thing leads to another. And there you go. <laughs> so she hooks up with Camille's brother in their house. Oh my gosh. So awkward. Next morning, Camille texts Emily and kind of wakes her up and is like, hey, why don't, you, why don't you come to breakfast? Are you okay? So Emily gets up. She notices she has a huge hickey on her neck. Huge. So she has to wear this and look like Dracula or something to, <laughs> to breakfast. And Camille then says, hey, this is my brother I told you about that I wanted you to meet. And Emily's like, wait, what? What about the brother last night? And here comes the brother from last night. And Camille's like, well, no, he's 17. <gasps> you guys, I freaked out when I heard that. He's 17 years old. 
Emily was confused because he was drinking so much and so knowledgeable about wine and champagne. He's 17 years old. So the mom pulls her aside. We think, oh my God, she's going to scold her. It's going to be terrible. Emily's apologizing. And the mom just wants to know, how is he as a lover? Oh my gosh. That is the most awkward, cringy, awful meeting. She says, husband is a fantastic lover. Beyond that, he's useless. Oh my gosh. Oh, so awful. She offers to call Emily a car. She knows it's embarrassing for her. And Emily's like, wait, I'm here. Let me just pitch you my idea for champagne. I mean, you talk about unbelievable. She's pitching this idea for champagne. She's like, listen, this is a new thing. Uh, people are ordering bottles of champagne just to spray. She's like, you make the same money if they drink it or spray it. And the mom's like, what? And Emily says, come on, this is a thing. We'll get a bottle to drink and a bottle to spray and you'll sell more and it'll help with the surplus. And the mom's like, I don't know. So then we see Emily going to leave and ugh, the cringe just keeps happening. She's so embarrassed and Camille's like, don't be. And Emily said, this is going to be weird. And Gabriel says, we're all adults, except for Timothy, you know, the brother she slept with. Ew, so gross. So then she has to ride back to town on Gabriel's lap again. Ugh, and that's how the cringiest episode so far ends. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was dying over this one. It's so gross. I can't believe he's 17 years old. Ugh, so creepy and gross and uncomfortable storyline but also funny to see how Emily handled it and oh my gosh oh so silly so that was it for the episode I love this series I'm enjoying watching it I feel so cringy right now after this one but I can't wait to dive into the next one I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a fantastic day thanks so much for watching bye bye